This is the final effect of 2D rain that we are going to achieve by the end of this Godo tutorial. And at the start I need to show you how it's implemented in my game. Let's close this window and click on the main scene, the game. Here when I scroll back, you can notice that it's raining only on a small fraction of the game. To make it more performance friendly, I've connected the rain scene to the camera scene. So in the game the rain moves with him, but it's not visible from the perspective of a player. We as game developers sometimes need to use special tricks to make our games better or to be more optimized. Otherwise the FPS could drop a ton. So let's get back to the scenes. Here on my game scene I've got the camera and on the camera scene I've got the rain scene attached to it and that way the rain moves with the camera. So let's switch to the rain scene and here is the node that we'll focus on. Everything is connected to the node 2D and here CPU particles 2D. And in a second we'll try to recreate this step by step. Let's talk about other nodes for now. Timer node, texture rectangle and audio stream player thunder are all necessary for the thunder logic. While we're in the game, you can see the white flash appearing at the random time covering a whole screen. And that's it. And you can learn more about this in this video in the corner. But here we will focus on the rain. Let's hide this CPU particles 2D and create a new one. CPU particles 2D. For now the white dots are appearing here at the center, but it's far away from the actual rain. So for now let's click on emission shape, rectangle and let's make it to 150. That way the particles are spawning not in the same spot but are spread across the X axis. Let's click on the gravity next. If you look closely you can notice that the dots are dropping on a perfect Y direction. And to make it more immersive for our players we can change the gravity to make it look like it's the wind in our game. So let's click the gravity on the X axis to for example 150 and the dots are dropping from left to right. It starts to look more like snow rather than rain. But stay with me. Here's the important part. We've got the drawing and here the texture. We want to change the current dot to something more like rain. And I've prepared the file for it which I made in the Krita. It's free software that you can use for this type of images but remember that it has to be PNG in my case a few simple pixels with a different transparency and also the sides are transparent and a whole image is 7 pixels by 7 pixels let's get back to our particles node and here drag and drop to the texture now it has a shape of a rain and in the game it looks even better because of the transparency of our image let's change the amount to for example 120 yeah, it's way too heavy rain for us, maybe 60. It looks better this way. What else can we change here? Let's click on scale and here scale amount to new curve. Let's make two points at the start and at the end. That way the rain on the top looks way bigger than the rain on the bottom. Let's make small adjustments, perfect. So here with the CPU particles 2D, Let's save it and run the project. Let's run the project. It looks fine for me, but with a few more adjustments, it could look even better. So if you have time, then you can play around in the inspector and change it for your needs. If you listen closely, then you can hear the rain. And that rain audio is simply an audio stream. With a great audio your game will be more enjoyable for the players. So if you're interested more about sound effects then click on my sound effects tutorial that is visible on the screen right now. Here on this channel 100% of my focus is going to the Godot tutorials. So make sure to subscribe for more knowledge and drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Continue learning more by clicking the next one.